release strategy uh, we have a release code and uh, the question is like uh, how to transport release strategy to production environment when you see our release procedure or uh, the things which we maintain for example uh, let me go to the release procedure configuration the release group and the release code the values the basic release strategy configuration everything will be transported through transport request because when you do the configuration in the development system that will be saved in a transport request and that will be moved to the next systems like quality and production but there is a data where you maintain the classification details that details will not be saved in the transport request we have to maintain in each system let me take any uh, one example which we maintain the cl20n for example release procedure with po the character state class all those things we say and this is release group codes everything will be through transport request it will be moved to one system to another system but after coming to this release strategies and uh, even this whatever you do group strategy everything will be in the transport request which will be moved from development to quality quality to production but only there is a one option called this is classification details where we will assign our uh, order type or order value purchasing group this data won't be saved in the transport request that data we maintain with the transaction code slash and cl 20n cl 20n and uh, by giving the 032 and for example the release group ak and uh, strategy is k2 we go there see this data will be maintained with cl 20n in each landscape development or quality and production it is not transportable we can directly maintain in the production system by using cl 20n transaction code other than that the release code creation groups and uh, status creation class assignment everything will be done through transport request this will be maintained manually if any business is asking like in any interview or any sometimes business is asking like i want to maintain in my development system only it should go to production at that point of time the cl 20n data which you are maintaining here that can be through idoc we have a intermediate document that the concept is there right with that idoc concept we can transfer the data of cl 20n the classification which you are maintaining it can be through ale idoc setup the development to quality and the quality to production once you maintain in development through idoc it can be automatically moved to quality and production that can be achieved the cl 20n data other than that entire data will be through transport request see the import procurement and the standard uh, procurement for example we will take it as a context like you are buying a material from other country and you are buying the material from your own country it may be in india or it may be us whatever it is the the process wise 80% of the process will be same only we have to uh, pay some custom duty or we can call it as a custom clearing amount or uh, the custom duty amount we have to pay to our custom department of our country okay that's why in the sap system we should create custom department as a specific vendor the just i will tell, show you the process flow in that question itself we can have, we have to finish this answer within few minutes what is our standard flow we create purchase order
शांत नहीं बैठे आदमी शांति वैसे आप ही नहीं हेलो या या एक्चुअली देयर इज अ पावर पावर स्टॉप इन स्टैंडर्ड प्रोक्योरमेंट वी क्रिएट परचेज ऑर्डर एंड देन गुड्स रिसीव्ड एंड देन इनवॉइस सर्टिफिकेशन एंड देन वी पे द अमाउंट टू द वेंडर बट इन केस ऑफ इंपोर्ट प्रोक्योरमेंट बिफोर रिसीविंग द गुड्स वी हैव टू पे द कस्टम ड्यूटी टू कस्टम डिपार्टमेंट विद दैट पर्पस after creation of po we need to create invoice verification for basic custom duty and cvd additional custom duty that details we have to create invoice verification and uh, we have to do that payment to the custom department then we receive the goods and further invoice process and payment will be as per our standard procurement but what are the some important points we should uh, know about uh, import procurement we should create a separate master data for the foreign vendor from whom we are buying the materials and uh, vendor master for customs office for the customs office we have to create a se separate vendor master and uh, we have to create a vendor master for uh, local vendor who is providing you the goods for example you, your goods are coming to port from that port to your company it may be 100 kilometers or 200 kilometers there is a local transport vendor who is providing you that goods to your company that vendor also we need to create and the configuration wise that is about master data the configuration wise we have to create a separate pricing processor it will be more or less similar to our standard pricing processor but we need to keep a new condition types which are delivery cost we have to take delivery cost as a reference like uh, freight or anything we can keep it as a reference when you are creating the custom duties related condition types means uh, it looks like a freight condition type like delivery condition category will be delivery cost and the naming everything we change we have to get a new condition types and we need to insert in the pricing processor in that pricing processor actual key we give fr3 which is the custom clearing standard one in case of uh, freight we give fr1 right freight clearing like that fr3 custom clearing we give and respect to custom clearing gl account will be assigned in obyc for fr3 this is what i mentioned custom condition types have to be created with condition category as delivery cost because it should allow you to enter other vendor and the separate schema group vendor we need to create with name import procurement and that has to be assigned to the respect to foreign vendor then when you create a purchase order with foreign vendor system will automatically pick the import pricing processor in the configuration the schema group vendor and the schema group purchasing organization have to be assigned to import pricing schema how we assign to the standard pricing schema right for our uh, schema group vendor standard pricing procedure like that for import also we have to have a line the schema group vendor and schema group purchasing organization have to be assigned to import pricing procedure and uh, when the goods arrive in india then we have to pay that uh, cvd and all that will be the process and uh, let me show you that screens
go to purchasing then go to conditions define price determination first i will show you the condition types which we created as a new one For all uh, basic customs and uh, custom duty and uh, CVD, yeah, whatever the additional custom duty, we create a normal condition type which will be similar to our freight because it will have an accrual key and also the condition category will be delivery cost. Those two parameters have to be fulfilled. If you go to the, the defined document type, see if you see the con uh, condition type, I have opened uh, one uh, condition type which was created for uh, import pricing procedure. The condition class we have to give as a discount or surcharge, and the calculation type may be percentage or maybe a fixed amount according to other uh, the, what you call the respective countries custom duty how they used to pay like as per percentage or not that we can maintain okay. see that uh, condition category should be delivery cost and uh, accrual key should be tick these are the two uh, mandatory things which we supposed to do for the condition types and in the pricing procedure, we have to uh, create a new pricing procedure. Now I'll go to the calculation schema. In the calculation schema, we have to create a new pricing procedure for to create a new pricing procedure if you go to the controlling data the import pricing procedure will be more or less as a standard but uh, in the pricing procedure we need to insert the new condition types which were created for the basic customs and uh, CVD whatever the new condition types we have created those we need to incorporate see these are the three condition types account the percentage we have to keep it and we have to assign the FR3 which is the custom clearing and uh, in the schema determination we need to create a new schema group for vendor with the name of import pricing procedure because that will be assigned to the vendor master see here triple zero one is our schema group purchasing organization for that we created a new schema group purchasing schema group vendor zero one for uh, domestic 0 to for import okay for that we have to assign the import pricing procedure that's why the vendors which have the schema group vendor 0 to system will automatically fetch the import pricing procedure the vendors which have the schema group vendor 0 1 system will fetch the purchasing document big means it's a standard uh, pricing procedure all those schema group purchasing organizations are same according to the schema group vendor system will derive the pricing processes in purchase order this is about the schema group uh, process uh, these are the configuration steps what we do and the remaining process as uh, explained the prior process will be followed in the same steps we do the po first and then invoice verification will be done only for the basic custom duty cvd and adc okay uh, even if you say like what is the CVD that is countervailing duty which will be paid to custom department when you buy the materials from the other country and then we do the custom payment then we can uh, we are eligible to receive the goods which are coming from the foreign countries and then we do the goods receipt and then we do the inverse verification to pay the amount to 
vendor from whom you bought it it's like a normal process that's why the only the color highlighted will be different from standard procurement rest all will be the standard process flow this conference will now be recorded thanks for watching my video and uh, if you have not yet subscribed to my channel you can click on this subscribe button you will see at the bottom of the video and uh, click on subscribe button and uh, if you click on this bell icon you can give all so whenever i upload a new video you will get the notification immediately so that you don't have to miss any of my new videos and uh, See, once you watch the video, if you really like the video and the content is helpful for your learning, don't forget to click on the like button. That will encourage to the YouTuber, not only myself, any videos. You may watch some ABAP videos, you may watch some S4 HANA videos, any kind of videos in the YouTube. You just hit a like. It takes one second of your time, but it helps a lot to the person. And uh, you can uh, use this share button. You can use the share button to share in uh, Telegram or Facebook or any kind of uh, social networks. And uh, if you see this, this uh, description, in the description, you can uh, check my different playlists. Okay, I mentioned all the purchasing, inventory management, discussion, WM videos. So you can use this uh, playlist to check my videos and you can uh, update your skills. Thanks for your time. All the best for your future endeavors.